What you see here is our version of the state fair ride, the giant swings. Now, this is by no means giant, but they do provide very high accelerations, much higher than the state fair ride does. For passengers, we're going to use these green-blooded aliens from the planet Jupiter. Now, they can, they're used to experiencing large accelerations because, after all, they come from Jupiter, where the gravitational field is much higher than the Earth. We'll put one passenger on each pan. and put them in motion just by turning the crank. And if you've ever ridden the State Fair ride or watched somebody else ride it, you know that when it spins, the chairs move outward, and the faster it spins, the farther they move. Now, what you're going to be doing is analyzing this situation. You're going to be determining the acceleration of the passengers in two different ways and comparing your results. One method is to simply to use the formula for centripetal acceleration that you've already learned, namely the square of the speed of the object divided by the radius of the path. So you'll need to measure the speed of the passenger and the radius of its path. Now for the radius, take the distance from, say, about the middle of the passenger to the axis of rotation. Now that has to be a perpendicular distance to the axis because the motion, the circular motion, is in a horizontal circle. Now, for the speed, you'll need to know how fast the passenger is going around, or how long it takes it to go around once. In order to use that, you'll use a video analysis program that we'll talk about again later. The other method is to do a net force analysis. So with the passenger in this position, you'll identify the forces acting on the object. There are two of them. And write the net force equations and solve for the acceleration. Now again, when you set up your net force equations, be sure to pick one of your coordinate axes in the direction of the acceleration. And remember, again, that that direction is horizontal because the circular path is a horizontal circle. You'll be doing the analysis using a uh, video analysis program and some video clips that we've already prepared in order to get your accelerations in terms of meters per second squared, you'll, be, you'll need to be able to take the distance measurements in pixels that you get from the video program and convert those to meters. So to do that, I'm going to measure one distance that you can use to obtain your scale factor. The distance I'm going to measure is from the inside of one of these uprights to the inside of the other one. OK, now I've positioned the meter stick. What you need to do is make a reading Read, I would say read from the inside surface of the pole there, and it's good enough to read to the nearest millimeter, the smallest division on the meter stick. So I'll take that reading now and write it down. Now we're going to take a look at the reading on for the other pole. Okay, here's the pole on the right-hand side. Again, I would recommend that you read from the inner surface of the pole there. Take your reading to the nearest millimeter and write it down. And so the distance you'll be interested in is the difference between those two readings. That will be the distance in meters between the inside surfaces of the uprights. So with that information and the physics that you already know, you should be able to calculate the acceleration two different ways and compare. Next, you'll download the instructions for the laboratory and carry it out.